Hello everybody, my name is Fatty Gerges. I am the Southwire End User Specialist here uh, at our agency, Rolston Pokestrom. And uh, today we're doing a three things demonstration video on the PB2000, the Power Bender 2000. Uh, and basically guys, you know, long story short here, this thing is the Rolls Royce when it comes to bending. Um, so what is it? Um, it's a power bender. So it's all encompassing for all types of conduit, uh, rigid IMC and EMT from three quarter inch up to two inch. Uh, this is gonna be most comparable to uh, you know, the Greenlee 855 Smart Bender and the 854DX. Uh, and then here in Chicago land specifically, the, uh, the Gardner Bender Cyclone as well. So um, there's a few you know features and benefits here that kind of uh, set this thing apart from you know, a lot of other vendors that are that are on the market here and you know i'm just going to dive in with some of them here so you've got a mechanical protractor stop here so basically uh once you have your uh spring back dialed in for you know repeat bends on the same diameter uh conduit you can set this here and this is just magnetic so it just pops off here so it's magnetic let's say your spring back is you know four degrees so now you want this to stop every time at 94 uh, degrees and that will give you your 90 degree bend so this is extremely helpful let's say for example you've got tons of pipe to bend you want to put an apprentice on it they're just going to be you know bending pipe all day this is a fail safe in terms of you know ensuring that you're getting that 90 degree bend exactly where you need it to be uh, so that's one thing and then two you've also got a digital programming here so where it shows you the finished bend angle. Now what the finished bend angle does is it takes into account what you set with these two buttons here as your spring back. And then once you get to 90 degrees, it'll actually be whatever you, uh, uh, you set the spring back to plus 90 degrees, essentially. So then this is always gonna show what your actual goal is, which is 90 degrees. Um, also incorporated into this bender here, is you know uh, especially on a job site there's no such thing as a hundred percent level concrete floor um, so at south wire we've incorporated here this little lever here that you just screw to the left lefty loosey and then this will allow you to go about two degrees forward two degrees back whatever you need to do to get exactly level you know you can tell that with your torpedo level here and then once you're there you can hold it and you just dial her in and then that way you can ensure that you're getting your level bends that way. Um, another feature, and this is more akin to you know the, the Gardner bender here, um, you can completely undo this, and the head of this unit will swivel all the way down, and then again, you can get it level where you need to be. Tighten her down, and then, now you can do all your compound bends um, or your offsets or whatever the case may be um, where, the, where this kind of configuration with the bending head is more advantageous. Uh, but for our purposes here today, I'm going to stand her back up here. Another feature uh, that's that's a really strong benefit with this bender is the plug itself. So uh, a lot of vendors that are out on the market actually have an internally housed um, electrical component. Uh, let's say you're on a job site, for example, that cord gets sheared or whatever the case may be, you'd have to take off you know the entire housing, get in there, rewire all the terminals. Uh, not the case here. So with this guy here. Your power supply is an extension cord. It plugs in and out, gets sheared, whatever the case may be. Um, you just replace the cord and you're good to go again, which is which is really uh, you know a time saver in terms of you know downtime and things of that nature. Uh, also, uh, great to mention, guys, that this bender is also backed by the industry leading uh, five year warranty on this against manufacturer defects. That's one thing, and then also on top of that. Um, the weakest point on a lot of vendors that are on the market are, um, you know, internal components. So uh, uh, specifically the electrical boards on it. Uh, 
Uh, these are automotive grade, so that they're built to last. And again, you know, should anything go wrong with that, they are back in that five-year warranty. Um, so now you've got the you know the head here. These are all of your rollers for your different types of pipe. You know, with these squeeze rollers, you know, they just spin around here for a rigid IMC, and then again for EMT. Um, and another innovative kind of uh, feature here is the squeeze roller adjustment. No tools required for this squeeze roller adjustment. So well, basically you're going to play with this to get less wrinkles or uh, scarring of the pipe. Um, no tools required. Basically you just pull this out, adjust it to where you need to go. You can actually see the rollers here moving up and down in terms of how much squeeze they're going to be uh, putting onto the pipe as you, you know, continue your bend. Uh, four pockets down here, and this is probably, you know, one of my favorite features on this fender here. So if you're bending all kinds of pipe, um, you know, strenuous lengths, um, one complaint that you're going to get is your back is going to hurt, right? Because you're constantly bending over. This guy here has a scissor jack incorporated, which is proprietary to Southwire, where it'll work with a three-quarter inch socket here. And you can slap that bad boy on there. And you can raise this up. You're on the taller side. And then if you're a little bit shorter, you know, you can bring it back down in a jiffy. If you don't, if you happen to not have a drill, it does come with a one of these guys. And this is actually housed right down here. And that just you know, in right there, and you're good to go. So let's get to the main event here, guys. Now we're going to actually bend a piece of two inch EMT to roughly 90 degrees. We don't have the spring back dialed in. <laughs> forward here until the hook catches onto the pipe. So right about there. We want to engage our rollers here. We want to give them a little bit of uh, elbow grease. And we'll lock in place as you jog it forward a little bit. And continue with your bed. Then the Protractor stops. It's actually like a little bit of a button here that this yellow guy bumps into. Presses the button, stops the bender. And now we got to bring this guy back here. By the way, I failed to mention that this is, you know, magnetic, so you can virtually stick it anywhere. And it's also a pretty solid aluminum billet design. If you felt this thing in person, it's got a little bit of heft. You'd probably run this thing over with the forklift. I wouldn't recommend it, but you probably could. Uh, it'll be just fine. Now we're returning, the rollers disengage. Now we can get our 90 out, and we got our bend. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate your time.